Larry, Larry says, population explosion in the 1970s was supposed to be the end of the world. Oh, the number of times that I have heard about the end of the world. Yeah, um, you know, if you go back in science fiction, you see it. You see it all the way back to 100 years ago. Um, the science fiction had been predicting, you know, global warming, global cooling, uh, death by uh, overpopulation, death by, uh, um, you know, energy uh, use, death by pollution. Um, you know, the entire uh, concept of the um, modern uh, environmentalist started out as uh, a, a much smaller movement in the 1970s. The deal was, the deal was really, that for most of, you know, up until the 1990s, a good chunk of half of my life or so, more, a little less, a um, little more, sorry, we had the Soviet Union to fight. You know, we, we, were, we were competing with them about which countries we can grab and make into our client states. And so all of our efforts were pushed outward, not inward. And when we lost that, everything went inward. And so now you don't have this big threat to talk about. And so people who were what started out as ecologists turned into rabid environmentalists who are now doing what they're doing. And as Larry Larry says, the number of times, you know, that I have heard about the end of the world. I mean, think about this man, Al Gore, right, who is just held up as a freaking paragon of, you know, environmentalism. He made a, 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 what is still considered a great documentary where he faked a lot of stuff in 2004, where he said in 2014, we'd all be underwater. Uh, that's date sort of came and went. I mean, the number of times. And he had people thinking that 2012 was going to kill us all because the Mayan calendar ended. A calendar? You know, from a people who, it's just ridiculous. But people thought that. How many times in my lifetime I have heard or read that we were all going to die from something and it never came true. All that happened was they pushed the date back five to ten years. Larry Larry says Star Trek, the original series, had an episode with an over overpopulated planet. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. That was one where they had to, they were trying to get some kind of virus from Kirk so that they could introduce it to the population and kill them all. <laughs> uh, you know, population isn't that much of a problem because of the modern science behind agriculture. Uh, it allows the people in my part of the country to literally feed the world. And it's only getting better. It's only getting better and better. And we do, in fact, see now some population dips. Uh, yes, Lord Marshall says, to be fair, it was a big, scary calendar, talking about the uh, calendar for the Mayans. You know, it's just a number. It's just a number. That's all it meant. And anybody who went on about the Mayans just didn't know what they were talking about. Um, the Mayans were an interesting people from a historical standpoint, and that's really about all you can say. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.